never ako nagtanggal ng Philippine stocks para ilipat sa cryptocurrency market. I would never think about that from now up until pagtanda ko. Never ako magkakamari sa pag-trade ko, sa pag-invest ko, sa paglagay ko ng pera. I've never thought about that. If you went all in to the cryptocurrency market, you will earn more. Sayang eh. Huwag niyo natanggalin. Hey guys, so I actually bought Philippine stocks today and in this video, I want to explain the rationale why I did that. So please do note now, while this is all happening, there's so much buzz that's being placed in Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency market because it's not just that there's so much attention into it, we are seeing a massive bull run in the crypto space. The way I structure my investments is I look at it from a portfolio perspective. Kumbaga, from a basketball team, I'm not just focusing on who the star player is. I'm not just focusing na the star player na to, aka Bitcoin, aka Cake, is moving fast, scoring a lot. You always have to look at the long game in everything when you invest. There's no one trade that can make you. There's also no one trade that can break you because what you do after that is what matters the most. I'm in this to build a dynasty. And please remember, to build a dynasty, you will have to make some moves that are for the short term, for the mid term, and for the long term. As you've been seeing it also in the past videos, there's so much excitement in the crypto space. And nadadala din ako, napapadagdag ako, napapadagdag. The more I study crypto, the more I do a deep dive on this. Comment below kung nararanasan nyo rin to. The more you study it, the more you fall in love with the technology and how groundbreaking it is. Our responsibility as investors is to be disciplined. That kung ano yung plano nyo, yun dapat yung susundin ninyo. Kung ano yung pera ko na for Philippine stocks will be for Philippine stocks. So, in spite of all of the excitement that's happening right now in the cryptocurrency market, never ako nagtanggal ng Philippine stocks para ilipat sa cryptocurrency market that hasn't been part of my equation, that hasn't been part of my narrative. Siguro yung nagbago over the past few months is that fresh funds that have come in, dati kung eto, linalagay ko puro Philippines lang, the fresh funds that have been coming in, there has been a larger allocation already to both global slash US stocks and also the cryptocurrency market. As you all know, I love buying stocks with dividends. And by the way, I'm just talking about my investing portfolio right now. I'm not talking about my trading portfolio. And in the dividend portfolio, part of my system is I want to accumulate as much dividend stocks as possible. I need to have a disciplined approach that every time fresh money comes in, I try as much as possible to find specific areas within that month on how I can start to put in. I needed to buy more of Meralco, more of Globe, then some long-term stocks also that I know tanggap ko they will not perform super well this year, but I am not investing in them to make money for this year. I am investing in them that when sentiment clears up, I don't know if it will be next year or two years from now. What I position today, I will reap the benefits of that later on. It would have been better that instead of buying dividend stocks that will take a very, very long time to grow, I should have bought Ethereum, which hit an all-time high yesterday. I should have bought Cake. I should have bought Bake, which that's where my attention is. No? And segue lang sa cryptocurrency market. Ethereum hit an all-time high yesterday. It didn't take a lot of my attention. Why? Because my attention yesterday was on Cake, which was doing very, very, very well. Then today, it was on Bake, which did very, very well also. But why am I saying this? Imagine, a few weeks ago, Ethereum was around 1,500, 1,600. That means it has gone up somewhere around 40%. So think about that very well. PLDT is very, very close to somewhere around that whole number area. If PLDT went from 1,500 to 2,700, everyone would be so bullish about it in the Philippine stock market. But in the cryptocurrency space, when you saw Ethereum, move that fast, it wasn't really as exciting as all of the other altcoins that have been moving fast. But this is me following my discipline. This is me following my strategy that I need to allocate a certain position also in the Philippine markets as some sort of balancing act. What do I mean by that? I would never think about that from now up until pagtanda ko, never ako magkakamari sa pag-trade ko, sa pag-invest ko, sa paglagay ko ng pera. I've never thought about that. And as what I've always been saying, we cannot predict, we cannot control where the market will be six months from now, one year from now. We don't know how long this bull market in the cryptocurrency space will be. We also don't know how long this sideways or bearish market will be for the Philippines. But what we do know is 
both of them matatapos din all i can do is to follow my strategy and my discipline that if i've allotted this much in the philippine markets i will use it i will maximize it in the same way ganun din yung gagawin ko sa crypto will i lose out on potential gains of course i will there's merit on diversification there's merit if you try to hedge and also protect yourself. Napapansin ko rin kasi over the past few weeks, eh, sobrang lagay ako ng lagay sa crypto market. I've been putting as much as I can. Of course, we don't know kasi what will happen to the cryptocurrency market. Eh. We've seen it drop by 30%. We've seen it drop by 50%. It could even go lower to 80%. That's why meron talaga akong allotment sa crypto. And yung allotment ko dun, ako na magdi-decide if I'll cut, if I'll sell, if I'll take profits, if I'll hold, if I'll stack also. But I will not dabble kung ano yung nakahiwalay na naka-allot for Philippine stocks as well. I even added up to my index fund also uh, in the Philippine markets. This is just me also being transparent and sharing to you that I'm here to follow my plan. Eh. I'm here to follow what my style and what my strategy is and it's still consistent naman because as what I've mentioned in the previous videos my goal for the year is to increase my crypto portfolio sabi ko by around 10% baka nga adjust ko to around 20% also by the way things are going and how much conviction I have right now but it's still on track for that naman eh. and as long as I follow what my plan is I'm okay so what do I want you to get what's a teachable moment here follow your strategy be disciplined about it even though sobrang ganda, sobrang exciting mag-invest sa cryptocurrency market, you always have to go back to what your plan is. You always have to go back kung bakit mo ginawa yung decision na yun, bakit ka nag-invest sa Philippines, bakit ka nag-invest sa crypto. It should be more than gusto ko lang kumita ng pera, gusto ko umaman. Here's the thing, for sure, if you went all in to the cryptocurrency market, you will earn more. But it's always a conviction game eh. And you live and you die based on your conviction. And better that I follow what I'm doing than listen to opinions of my friend, listen to the opinions of other people because may kanya-kanya rin silang risk tolerance. Eh. What gives me the ability to take on more risk in the cryptocurrency market right now is mainly because I have cash stored and I have also other investments na lumalaban para sa akin. When the cryptocurrency market may start to correct and then at that time money may shift in the Philippines, then me positioning in those stocks right now that are battered would be a very, very good decision for me. I've been saying this over and over. It's the boring things in life that will make you rich. It's the boring things in life that will allow you to build wealth that will last. And what I'm planting in the PSE right now, especially for dividend stocks, will give me cash flow and passive income for life as long as they give dividends. The good, solid, and sound companies that I'm also buying, when all the dust clears, those large conglomerates like Ayala Corp, GT Capital, I really believe will be even better. And those companies that are essentials like CNPF that are very, very consistent will just also be even better as well. Nag-transfer ako sa Philippine stocks, bumili ako sa Philippine stocks, bumili ako sa mutual funds, nagdagdag pa rin ako sa cryptocurrency market. So whatever I put in, does it get out? If it earns, I just stack some more. Pero the strength there is I just keep on adding, I just keep on accumulating, I just try to build on a base for it. I've seen a lot of people, once they start to make money also, they want to take it out. Which is not wrong naman kasi pera nyo naman din yun. But sayang eh. Linaan nyo na siya para sa investments. Huwag nyo natanggalin. The power of investments is you give it time to continually work hard for you because if you take it out or you buy something else, then your potential to make money wala na. It's taken right off the bat. In spite of all of the excitement, I'm in it to win it in the Philippine markets. In spite of all of the excitement in the cryptocurrency space, I'm still also deploying capital in mutual funds. I'm still also deploying capital uh, into the global US markets as well. But in the same time, while all of this is happening, I'm continually studying, continually putting in more to the cryptocurrency space. But it never will hurt if you look at it from a basketball team. Hindi pwedeng Steph Curry lang mina sa team mo. You need to have a Draymond Green who has very, very good basketball IQ, who's a good defender, who's a good passer to complement who your star player is. And that's what I'm doing. I'm building something, not just to score a lot, but I'm building something so I get to have a dynasty. And that's what I want all 251,000 of you to have. It's not just money for 2021, but it's wealth that will last. Makikinabang din, hindi lang kayo, but your children and your children's children as well. Ano ano yung dividend stocks, at least for the day that I like a lot, it didn't change. It's still Meralco, it's still Globe, the same ones that I've mentioned before. Then sa crypto space, so much attention on Bake, so much attention on Cake, so much attention on BNB as well. Hindi nagbabago. I actually have a larger holdings already of BNB than 
uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum right now. Guys, this is not financial advice. Please talk to your financial advisor. Don't just buy, hold, sell, or avoid the stock just because I talk about it in the same way. Ganun din sa cryptocurrencies. Do not transact or buy or huddle or, or sell it just because you hear it off my YouTube channel. It's your money. It's your responsibility. Please take the time to be able to learn and to be able to build the skills for it. Just to end, crypto is for my massive growth for this time, April 2021. Philippine stocks is for me planting and positioning for what it will be when the dust settles, when the uncertainty is over, when the coronavirus cases start to drop, when the vaccines have been spread out in the Philippines. A reminder lang, every time you see it sa comment section na meron ka mukha ko na nagko-comment na pareho profile picture, pareho pangalan na nagdalagay ng WhatsApp number, that's not me. That's a scammer pretending to be me. So, ingat lang dun. Please, I will never give a WhatsApp number uh, in the comment section. And I'd like to invite you to two events that I have. Number one is Stock Smarts Technical Analysis. We're going to talk about charting, candlesticks, moving averages, MACD, RSI, ADX, parabolics are Bollinger Bands, Fibonacci Retracements, and so much more. It will be in the first two weekends of May. It's actually next week already. The details are in the description below. It will be four half-day sessions which will be done online, which will be done via Zoom. So if you're watching this and you're from any part of the world, uh, this is for you deep dive on how you can trade the markets, the US, the Philippines, and crypto markets using technical analysis. And on the last Friday and Saturday of May 2021, we have Investment Conference 2021, the largest, most passionate, empowering investment conference in the country, featuring the brightest minds in different industries, from Randall Chongson, David Lee Chu, Rex Mendoza, Tony Herbosa, Mike Manuel, and so much more. Different captains in their own industry will share their insights on what's happening in the economy and where should you actually invest. And this is one of the few times where we will talk a lot about cryptocurrencies also. We have different guests that are into it. I may share also more about it in the conference as well. And for those who are asking how can you invest in the cryptocurrency market, in the description below we have Binance. If you want to buy altcoins and you just want to huddle, or we also have eToro if you want a hybrid and you can trade in between if you want to trade US stocks and cryptocurrencies altogether. So I use them both. Try them. They have virtual accounts and you don't need a lot of money to be able to start and practice and deploy capital in that. Lastly, books that I've written that are national books or bestsellers all aim to teach you about stock investing and trading and the rudiments of investing are available in Shopee and Lazada. The links are in the description below. And yun, if you're new to this and you want more videos like this, like, share, subscribe, and smash the bell so you get updated every time I come up with new content about investing and trading the markets. So that's it for now. This is Marvin Germo. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys, and God bless you all. Thank you.